Okay, so the next one we're going to be focusing on is when you have two secants, and our formula for that is OW equals OW. And the way I normally like to write this, the O means the outside. So if you look at this one here, X will be on the outside, 4 will be on the outside, right? And that's outside of the circle. W is the whole entire secant. So it'll be O, and it's really, you put O again, you make the twin, twin, twins, plus W. You know, it's plus the other one, okay? Equals, once again, you got outside, and you got parentheses outside again, you got those twins, twin, 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 and then you have plus your whole. Okay, so if we look at one, let's look at this one. Now, this one's more involved than we normally do, so hopefully they will not be like this on the milestone, but if they do, you'll know how to do it because we'll do one. Okay, so we have our outside labeled as X. We know we're going to have twins right here. So we got X again, twins, and then we have the entire thing. So it's going to be plus that other number. The other number that's on that line is 9. Okay? Okay, and then I can go ahead and do the other side. I have outside is 4. It's outside the circle. So I know it's going to be our twins here. And then plus the whole entire thing. What's the other part? Well, I have plus 5. And one thing I like to do, the one that has just numbers will be this side. You can plug it directly into your calculator. So let me show you what I mean by that. So the way you see it, four parentheses, four plus five. We can plug it directly into our calculators, just like that. And we get 36, okay? So the one that has an X, we have to distribute. So we got to distribute the X times x, we get x squared, we get x times 9, we get a positive 9x. Okay, so normally I would be telling you to solve for x, but for right now, we really can't solve for x because there's no like terms here. We can't get things together and all that. So what we got to do, if there's an x squared there, we got to get things to the x squared. Things kind of flock to x squared. So we're going to move this 36 away and put them over here. And we're not going to put them with anything because he doesn't have any like terms to go with. So we have x squared plus 9x minus 36 equals 0. So guys, if you look at this problem now, Basically, what we have to do is factor. Because if we have x squared with anything, we most likely is going to factor. So, if we factor, you know how we list our a, b, c. a is 1. is what's in front of x squared. b is 9. c is negative 36. So, if we do the factors of 36, and I'm not going to go through all of them. We'll do, because there's a lot of them. 1 and 36. Um, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 5 doesn't work, 6 and 6. So these are our possible factors. So we need the one that's going to give us a 9. So if you look here, 3 and 12 are the one that's going to give us a a 9. So we just have to do our plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus. And we need 3's all the way down. And we need 12's here. And we need the one that's going to give us a positive 9. So if we go through here, this one here would give us a positive 9. And I just went ahead and did it. So we, we're looking at X minus 3 and we're looking at x plus 12. Well we're not finished because remember I told you in the last unit 
if it's equal to zero, we got to do an extra step because it's basically telling us to solve it. So we basically are setting x minus 3 equal to zero, which basically means you just change the sign. So x equals positive 3, and then you're going to set x plus 12 equal to zero. And all we're doing is basically changing the signs because if we move 12 over, we make it a negative 12. And that's all we're doing. X equals negative 12. And then it says, so this is what we did here. So we basically got our answer. X equals negative 12. X equals 3. It says length cannot be negative. So we can throw out the negative 12. So negative 12 cannot be a possibility. So 3 is basically our answer. And then they basically want us to plug it back in. We could. Okay. So... That one was way, way more involved than what we're used to, but I did want to show you that just in case if you have one like that on the milestones. But most of the time, ours is a little bit easier. So guys, we're going to do this problem. You're going to have to draw it because it's not on there. This is the one that's on there and then the one at the bottom as well because it's not on there. So we're going to do... One of, we're going to do both of these to kind of show you how it works. So um, this is the one we're going to do. Uh, I'm not sure if that one will work, but we'll try it anyway. So let's do this one. So we know our formula says O times parentheses O W. Kind of makes it easier. I kind of did it like that. O equals OW. Okay. So it kind of makes sense to me. So 3 is on the outside, right? And then this is the whole entire thing. So we do 3 parentheses. We got our twin, twin, twins. And that should be, um, sorry, it should be plus, not times. And then plus the whole thing. So it'll be x. So we know we got x here. We know we can't plug that in. We know we got to use distributive property. So now we're going to label this side. 5 is my outside. He's outside of the circle. And then this right here is my whole entire thing. So we put 5. We got to have the twins. Plus 10. So this one only has numbers. So I can plug this completely into my calculator. So I'm looking at 5. Uh-oh. 5. Parentheses. 5 plus 10. Let's see what we get. We get 75. So 75 on this side. And then we come over here and we just distribute. 3 times 3, we get 9. 3 times x is a positive 3x. Okay? Then all we're going to do now is solve for x. We want to get x by itself, so we subtract 9 from both sides. Subtract 9. So we get 3x equals, and then 75 minus 9. Uh, 75. 75 minus 9 equals 66. And then we're going to divide by 3 because we got to get x completely by itself. So if we divide that, we would get x equals 22. Okay? And I'm not going to, we don't have to, um, these are more involved because you're going to have X, and you're going to distribute the X just like we did before up here, and you're going to have to factor. Um, you can try this one, but I will not be quizzing you on that. It may be on the milestone, but I will not be quizzing you on that. So if you could... Uh, and let's change this around. Let's. This is the one I want you to actually write this one. 5 and then we're going to put X there. So um, maybe that'll work. Or maybe we could put a 2. Let's put a 2. So try this one. So try this one here. And try this one. You're going to have to draw this one. And so you can stop the video and complete those two.